visited you with some chocolate treats and you got out in the sunshine did anybody do a little egg hunt we did a little one in the garden it was a bit tricky but we found them all in the end and um, what else did we do oh, we had a nice roast dinner and some easter chocolate pudding <gasps> and chocolate cake too many things to eat so anyway here we are, back to do a story. I found a really big, 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 big book today that I'd like to read to you called, and some of you probably recognise it, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. I don't know about your families, but my family has been really hungry since we've been at home. All they seem to do is eat, eat, eat. And I know that we've got this little creature here which is a caterpillar. Something really special happens to caterpillars. I wonder if you can remember what happens to caterpillars as they get older. <gasps> we'll find out. So get comfy in your comfy chair. Get ready to listen for a lovely story. Oh, lots of dots. I'm going to have to do this today. There we go. This is such a huge book. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Can you spot the tiny, tiny, tiny egg on a leaf? Teeny tiny. Can you make a tiny egg? Teeny, teeny tiny. There it is. Look. I wonder what's in there. Teeny tiny egg on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the, war the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a very tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Hello. And along he went, along the earth. Went for a little crawl in the bright morning sun. Sorry, there's a little wasp trying to join me. We should have closed the shutters. There we go. Sorry, it's gone dark now, but <laughs> don't want the wasp getting you. Can you still see? On Monday, he ate through one apple. Mm. Wow, can you go through? He can. Look, he's going through, eating one whole apple. But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through how many pears? How many pears? One, 
two, two pairs. Can you see? Two lovely delicious pairs. What if you can guess how many plums he ate through on Wednesday? Who can guess how many plums he ate through on Wednesday? Can you count them? One, two, three. Were you right? So on Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. Mm, mm, mm. I'm still hungry. <gasps> hungry still, just like you all. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. Can you show me four on your fingers? Use your nose to help you. One, two, three, four. Noses are really good for helping you count because your nose stays there and you just move your fingers. One, two, three, four. Each finger has to touch your nose. Four strawberries. What colour are strawberries? Colour can you see? What colour is the main part of the fruit? Red, that's right. And what colour is the top part, the stalk? <gasps> Green, well done. Oh, I think he must be full up by now, having all of those delicious strawberries. But no, he was still hungry. Still hungry. <laughs> Cheeky caterpillar. On Friday, he ate through five, give me five, five oranges. One, can you count with me? You do it. One, two, three, four, five, five oranges. High five. Wow, that is a lot of fruit. Come on, Mr. Caterpillar. Oh my goodness, look at this. Looks like a party. What can you see? Can you see any of your favourite foods? I can see cakes. Yum, yum. I can see lollies. Cheese. Mmm, ice cream. Oh, how delicious. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one gherkin, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, yum, 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 one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Yum, yum, yum. Ah, go away. <laughs> oh dear, sorry. That night he had, what do you think he had after eating all of that food? Yep, yeah, he had a tummy ache. <laughs> oh, I'm not surprised he probably led down like this. Oh, my tummy, my tummy, my tummy. Ouch. Do you get tummy ache when you eat too much chocolate and sweets? Oh, yes. The next day was Sunday again. And the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. Oh, that's much healthier. And after that, he felt much better. Better, much better. There he is crawling along the stalk. Oh, wow. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at him. 
He built a small house called a cocoon around himself and he stayed inside for more than two weeks. Two whole weeks in that special little house wrapped up like a cocoon. Let me show you. Oops. Here we go. This is what they do. They spin and spin and spin and spin <gasps> until they're in a cocoon and they go to sleep and they hang on the tree for two whole weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. He was a beautiful, beautiful. What did he turn into, look? A beautiful, beautiful butterfly. I'm a butterfly. I'm a butterfly. Look at my beautiful wings. He's a butterfly. Wow, what beautiful colours can you see in the butterfly? I can see blue. Can you see blue? I can see red. I can see yellow. I can see green. I can see purple. Very beautiful butterfly. Can you make a butterfly with your hands? If you link your fingers together, your thumbs, you can make a butterfly with your fingers. It can fly high, 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 up and away. The butterfly goes. Well, that was a lovely story, wasn't it? It's made me feel all summery. I know some people have been ordering some little special um, caterpillar kits where you get some caterpillars and you you look after them and you feed them and they've got a special pot and then you put them into a special um, like a little cage type thing and they eventually turn into butterflies can you believe it right in front of your eyes and then you let them go let them go and fly around the garden when they're ready can you fly? Can you flap your big wings? Stretch up and down and up and down. Can you go faster? <gasps> flap, 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 flap. Let's see if we can do 10 flaps. Are you ready? <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Well done. That's made my arms ache. Has it made your arms ache? <laughs> Okie dokie. Right, shall we sing a song? What song shall we sing today? How about Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall? We'll sing a nursery rhyme. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Ooh. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Poor old Humpty, poor old Humpty Dumpty. Oh dear. I <laughs> hope that didn't happen to your Easter eggs. <laughs> okay, how about we sing? What should we sing? What should we sing? What should we sing? Wind the bobbin up because we love that one. We love that one every day. Wind the bobbin up. You join in? Can I hear you? Sing your loudest to me. Yeah, come on. Wind the bobbin up. Wind the bobbin up. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again. Wind it back again. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling. Point to the floor, point to the window, point to the door. 
Clap your hands together. One, two, three. Put your hands up on your knee. Very good. Well done. Give yourselves a clap. Well, it's been really lovely seeing you all again today. Hopefully I'll get to catch up with you again soon. Take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.